Hello and welcome to ITG's Listen and Learn. I'm musician third class Carrie Blosser. I am a trumpet instrumentalist with the United States Navy Fleet Band Program, and I am currently stationed just north of Chicago, Illinois at Navy Band Great Lakes. I wanted to share with you today a few tips and tricks for your next outdoor performance. So as you're thinking about performing outside in hot weather, make sure that you're wearing clothes that are loose and breathable. Even if your gig has a specific dress code, you can always find something that's lightweight in those guidelines that they give you. Frozen water bottles, uh, gel packs in a cooler, towels, sunscreen, sunglasses, um, chapstick with sunscreen while you're waiting to play and after you're done playing. All of those things you might necessarily not think about, but when you're sitting outside for a long time, it's nice to have those items. On the opposite side of that, uh, cold weather, I'm in the Navy band, so I have uniforms that I have to wear. So I'll do a base layer or two and my uniform. And then we have a few different kinds of coats that we wear. Um, but if I were performing a civilian gig in my normal clothes, I would do the same kind of thing. Um, for me, I like to bring um, either hot tea, like an herbal tea without caffeine or hot water. Um, they're hot hands and hot toes. I normally keep a few of those in my case. I prefer performed a lot with a brass quintet and we played a lot of very cold gigs and very hot gigs. I always tune to the tuba because their instrument is the largest. We've played performances where we're almost a half step flat because it's so cold. So we just pull our tuning slides out and match with the tuba the best that we can. Feels a little bit weird to play it that way, but you're not constantly um, adjusting with your um, armature and your aperture and trying to whip the pitches down the whole time so you get a less tired. Another thing as a trumpet player and a trumpet player in a military band, I play taps for military funerals and memorials and other ceremonies quite often. I'm focusing on my first G and this is what I do every time before I'm getting ready to play taps is I want to make sure that I get a really good G before I move on to anything else. Um, just a few times breath attack or tongued articulation just to kind of see how things are going. Once I feel like that G is really coming every time that I want, again, it could be freezing cold or 100 degrees, I'm just gonna be as relaxed as possible and really try and focus on getting a good sound and getting my, um, my sound to happen exactly when I want it to. So once that happens, I'll move up to the next pitch of taps. And I'll oscillate between slurring and articulating, again, just to kind of feel out how things are that day, getting ready for that performance. So we'll add our next open partial to E. So let's add the final highest note of taps because that's really where we want to focus on getting our sound up to. And then I'll also do a little bit of pitch bending. For me, it really helps center and find the pitch when the temperatures are really uh, blistering in either direction. Again, I don't want to play all of taps, but I can mess around on all those pitches, add some valve combinations. Sometimes I'll get there and things are already happening, so a service will be happening and right after it'll transition into the memorial military part. So I'll use um, some kind of practice mute. Um, I've got a few here that I use. Um, the, the practice mute or the silent brass or whatever you're using um, just gives you a little bit of flexibility. Say that the service is already starting or you're playing an exposed part but you don't want to draw attention to yourself. These are so much softer than us playing and you can really put some air through the instrument. So I find that really helpful. So one of my favorite things to do to make sure that my air um, support is really going is to play my lead pipe. So when I play this, it should sound about a trumpet F. So I'll have my tuner. And what I use this for is to make sure that I'm getting a centered sound and my air is energized enough to play. So um, if it's really early or really late, I can be a little bit lazy. Like physically, we're still tired, so we might not be as engaged with our air as we need. So um, I'll play my Fs. If I was really 
uh, tired and not engaged yet, it could be as low as So it's kind of like a, a self-analysis tool as we're going. Um, if you have the reverse lead pipe, so your pipe is longer, which means that your pitch is going to be lower, so it would sound more like an E-flat-ish. If I'm feeling great, then I'll go up to the next partial. If not, I'll focus on just the lead pipe playing. And again, for me, that bottom note is trumpet F. The top note is about a trumpet G. They're all pretty relative, but um, if my tuner has a big green smiley face or I'm hitting close to the center, that's great for this. It's not a, a very specific thing for what I'm going for. So breathing, a little bit of buzzing, just make sure the response is there. Lead pipe again is my, my, my best test to see what I need to do next. Um, I'll do a little bit of scales, get my fingers going, um, scales into higher range, but this whole process probably takes me five to 10 minutes. And this is kind of my quick warm up or my refresher from um, already warming up early in the morning and playing again in the evening. I use a plastic mouthpiece when it's really hot and really cold. Um, the feel is definitely a little bit different. So if you're gonna use a plastic mouthpiece, make sure that you practice with it and you do at least that short little section of a warm up where you're playing just individual notes to get ready for the performance. Um, just make sure you're familiar with this before you play. Uh, and then the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is at the end of a day, um, what I do for warm downs when I've been out in the elements. Again, super cold, you get really tight and tense, um, super hot, you're just sweaty and cranky. So for my warm down, I'm focused on getting things moving again. So I go from G to C and I just do some glisses about a mezzo forte, just a nice, warm, comfortable dynamic. I'm listening for any crackle or sizzle or stuff in between the sound. And my goal is before I put the trumpet away is I try and get rid of that tension, tightness, whatever's happening by using those glisses. <laughs> Third Class Carrie Glosser. Uh, thank you again for tuning in and have a great week.